Welcome to GGB's Supplier Showcase. Today we're featuring Ainsworth Game Technologies. We're here in their headquarters in Las Vegas. Uh, with me is Mike Trask, who is Vice President of Product Marketing for Ainsworth. And today we're going to talk about the UltraShot series. So I'm going to uh, let Mike take it away. Thanks so much, Frank. Thanks to everybody at GGB for the Supplier Showcase. It's been a, a cool piece for us. We've been working on it for, for several years now, I think. Uh, UltraShot is the next line in Ainsworth's linked progressive product portfolio. Uh, so uh, about a year ago, we started talking about all these games we had coming at G2E. We showed off Treasure Spirits, Cash Stack Gold, and Ultra Shot. So Treasure Spirits and Cash Stack Gold out in the field, you know, showing pretty strong performance. But Ultra Shot next, the, the hottest new, and we'd argue maybe the most forward thinking of our games. Uh, so since we've brought on David Bolison, our chief product officer, uh, this is one of the first games the, the redesigned team has really put in their touch on every part of it. Uh, starting with just a classic player-selectable multi-denomination progressive uh, title. This is Tiger. There's a companion game, Panda. Uh, you have these 10,750 progressive jackpots. So a top jackpot is going to be a link progressive and you're going to have a standalone second level major jackpot and then a couple of bonus prizes that will change by denom. So at one cent, 10 and $50 and you're still going to have that 10,750. But going all the way up to dollar, you're going to really increase those prize pools. These games have some free games features we can get into that are unique. But the real chase here is going to be in what is called our hold and stack feature. So the player will come into these levels, collect their, their coin amounts. This was a $50 bet. So they're collecting coin value. Now the board will clear and they're collecting values of the coins as well as trying to fill these uh, ladders to get to a second level. So there's a single level you start at, you will fill it here, and then you will go up to a double level. If the player is lucky enough, we are, where the prizes will be doubled in the second level. So first level collecting all these prizes, showing the double level, Doubling all the prizes. Now, continuing to, again, multiply these prizes, gather this award, and try and get up to a triple level. If a player gets to a triple level, they will be chasing that grand jackpot. So a ton of anticipation in this, this hold and stack feature. Doubling prizes. And so as you could guess, when you get to the triple level, prizes within the tokens will be tripled. And again, going up to the grand. These other major minor mini are available within the bonus. You'll see the coins go by. You can land those. Those are not doubled or tripled during the, the feature, uh, but everything else is. Your credit awards are and again, chasing to try to get to that grand. Frank, it's your lucky day. You've won the grand again. I don't know anybody who's won more grand progressives and cashed fewer than you have. Uh, but giving you the idea again, that classic feel of that hold and spin, that hold and stack feature, we're calling it three levels to it where you're multiplying prizes. You got the four, uh, two bonuses as well as the progressive. And again, going through a first level, a second level, building anticipation to try to get to that third level and collect that grand jackpot. It's like you've added a lot of dimensions to uh, the hold and spin bonus. I mean, the hold, it's not really like any other hold and spin bonus uh, with the levels and with the fact that there's, they're not really held, they're paid off. Correct. And time. the board clears each time. 
Uh, the game came out in Australia a, a while back. It's done fairly well in the, the Sydney markets and some pretty competitive properties. Um, so pretty excited to bring it to the U.S. And uh, these these uh, player selectable multi denoms um, uh, they they control not only the lower jackpots but but the return to player as well. Correct. Right? So so the operator has the the chance or the player is going to experience you know maybe if it's a one cent game at ninety percent it can your two cent could be ninety two up to you know your two dollar game can be can be in those 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 high you know ninety six percent. So yes, that can fluctuate. Also. The way it is done is the one and two cents are played as 50 line games, right? So you are looking at those, uh, the, the classic, you know, uh, $5 max bat 10 X, but when you're getting five and 10 will be 25 line. And so again, that's the 250 max bat. So $25 max bat at dime. So toning that down a little bit similar to some like product, and when you go up to the dollar, two dollar, it's that five line game uh, offering, you know, pretty huge bets. But again, it is scaled accordingly uh, to, to hit some high bets, could keep it palatable at, at a dollar. OK, well, it's, it's uh, certainly uh, unique among this genre of game and uh, um you, and you have how many games in this series? So there'll be Tiger that we just took a, a spin on, if you will, and Panda is its companion title. Very similar, some unique free games features, but that real chase in that hold and stack coin bonus. Um, and again, a, a, a great deal of work out of our Australia studios. Um, we've talked about with GGB and others over the past year plus of of all the work that's gone into bringing in new talent to the studio, cleaning up a lot of the things, just as simple as bet structures, doing the, the dollar five line, really cleaning up some art aspects, making it a very digestible, easy to understand game where players are experiencing that sight, that sound, that action. That's really gonna, uh, we feel, bring them into a game and, and offer something that, that quite frankly has been lacking from Ainsworth's portfolio for a number of years. And uh, where where is it in uh, in release? Uh, is it out in the market? So this game uh, will be out sometime in the Niga time frame, right? So those uh, you certainly will see this game on the Niga show floor. Hoping to have it available for sale at that show around that part uh, about on that time of the year. Okay, um, thank you very much for being on the uh, showcase today. Hey, thanks for coming all the way to Las Vegas to uh, take a look at some of our new stuff. Anytime. All right, thanks, Frank. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining us for the GGB Gaming Supplier Showcase, our exclusive look at the best products and services produced by vendors for the gaming, iGaming, and sports betting industries. For more information about the GGB Supplier Showcase, contact Terry Brady at tbrady at ggbmagazine.com.